PR Ham Radio. Welcome back, everybody. It's Freddie Mac, your Ham Radio Crusader, and I'm here to talk to you about another chapter in the book of Skywarn Plus. There's a module in Skywarn Plus called Alert Script. An alert script, by definition, is Skywarn Plus's alert script feature. It's an immensely flexible tool that provides the ability pr to program your node to respond to specific alerts in unique ways. By enabling you to map alerts to DTMF commands or bash scripts, Alert Script offers you the versatility to design your own extensions to Skywarn Plus, modifying its functionalities to perfectly fit your needs. With Alert Script, you can outline actions to be executed when specific alerts are activated. For instance, you might want to broadcast a unique sound, deliver a particular message, or initiate any other action your hardware can perform and that can be activated by a DTMF command or a bash script. Understanding Alert Script. To utilize Alert Script, you define the mapping of alerts to either DTMF commands or bash scripts in the config.yaml file under the Alert Script section. Now, with all of that said, a few of us decided in our area that we wanted our repeaters to connect to one another whenever tornado warnings were issued. And that set me to thinking about Alert Script. So, to make things simpler, for this example, I changed the trigger from tornado watches or tornado warnings to a volcano warning. <laughs> I don't want to confuse anybody out there that can receive the RF and I also wanted to be able to demonstrate to you all out there what's going on. So we jump into our SSH session into our all-star node or our GMRS live node and we go to down to number nine to start a bash shell interface and then we're going to go cd usr local bin skywarn plus now we're going to go nano config.yaml that's our configuration file for skywarn plus and as you can see here the node is already configured but we'll cover that here in a minute but I'm going to come down here and show you how I'm going to set what we call Injex, which is a trigger that's not an actual alert, but it's to help test our node. And you can see here I've set the title for Volcano Warning instead of Tornado Watch or Severe Thunderstorm Warning. I'll change the Injex trigger to True. Hit Control X, Yes to Save, Enter to Exit. And then we'll come back to our Supermon pages and see what happens. Updated local information. Volcano warning. Node 58176 connected to Node 576333. As you noticed, when the volcano warning watch was issued, the trainer node connected to my home all-star node 58176. And eventually the Supermon page will update this area here to the proper warning. It usually takes a few minutes longer. And there it is. Volcano warning. Would this had this been an actual warning, it would show up in both nodes. So the scenario was let's say where there were three of us who had all-star node equipped repeaters in a two county area and if a tornado watch was and triggered by the national weather service we would want those repeaters to connect to one another automatically so that the storm watchers could utilize them in a wide area rather than just the normal footprint of one repeater now we have the footprint of three repeaters to be used in a state of high alert so that's how it automatically connects so let's turn off this volcano warning so now we've disengaged the, tor the volcano warning or the mock tornado warning if you will and once that is issued by the National Weather Service it will trigger a release of the connection between the two nodes 
The National Weather Service has cleared all alerts for this area. Node 5, 8, 1, 7, 6, disconnected. And you notice as soon as the warning was cleared, the connection between the two nodes was dropped. There's about a hundred different ways you could utilize this, but the triggers are all coming from the National Weather Service watches and warnings that you designate. How do we make this happen? Well, that's what this video is all about. We're going okay. to configure our Skywarn Plus config.yaml file. Okay, I like to refer to this as the DTMF method of configuring alert script in Skywarn Plus. So once you're in your SSH session, you're going to want to change your directory to user local bin Skywarn Plus. And then you're going to nano the config.yaml file, or I call it the YAML file. And this will bring your Skywarn Plus configuration file open. And as you can tell, I have already started some configuration on this file. By default, it is enabled as true. I've come down here and added my all star node number. And if this was GMRS Live, you would put your GMRS Live node number here in this spot. And I came down here to the alerting section and I put in my county code. But I need to go all the way down to alert script. So we're going to page down to the alert script section. As you can see right now, it is enabled false. So we're going to change that to true. And you're going to see a bunch of commented outlines. Now, this up here you want to leave just exactly the way it is. But once you get to mappings, you can see there's a bunch of commented outlines. And these are examples. And you're going to see a bunch of commented outlines. And these are examples. There's one, two, three, four different examples and these are bash examples and dtmf examples bash method will allow you to run script files upon certain uh, triggers which would be the national weather service enacting a alert or deactivating an alert so we can leave these examples in place if you wish or you can take them all out that's completely up to you but what we want to do is add some more info in here for a DTMF method. Now, you notice I tabbed in or I spaced in right here. You wanna line them all up. Do not use the tab key. YAML is very, very critical about the spacing and indentation of the syntax of the lettering that you're about to put in. So I'm gonna hit enter and skip a line, hit the space bar until it lines up this dash with this cursor. Hitting spacebar, not the tab key. Now, I already have the word mappings right here, so I don't think I need to put it in again, but let's find out. Spacebar. And I'm going to type dash space type colon space dtmf enter and then I'm going to type in nodes colon oh I take that back nodes has got to be only a capital N dash space this node is five seven six three three two and that's where you want your node number to be. Return. We're gonna spa we're gonna hit the space bar until we're right under the end of nodes and type in commands colon return space bar in until we line up with that dash space. Now here's where we want to put the node number of the node that we want to connect to. So it's going to be apostrophe star 3 which is the DTMF command to connect 
and we're going to connect to 58176 and then we're going to end it with an apostrophe. We're going to hit enter because we're going to connect to two nodes. So spacebar in, do we get to that dash? Space apostrophe star 3 576331 apostrophe at the end. Enter. Now we've got to enter our clear commands. These are commands, the first ones were commands to engage, but now we need to enter the commands to clear. So let's line up with that C with the space bar, not the tab, and type in clear commands, all one word, but the word clear and the word commands are capitalized, colon, return, space bar to the dash, dash space, apostrophe star one which is the DTMF command to disconnect 58176 apostrophe return spacebar in space I'm sorry dash and then space apostrophe star one five seven six three three one and apostrophe now we're going to hit the return and we're going to tab in and line up with the C in clear and type in triggers. This is what YAML will look for to be the actual trigger to do these commands. So we're going to type in triggers colon return spacebar until we line up with those dashes again. Space. And then this is the, the actual National Weather Service trigger that we want. But for this example, we're going to type in volcano warning and I like to hit one more return there just to give it a little room for what we want so now we have our triggers oh no now we have our type DTMF our nodes which is this node 576332 our commands star 358176 and star 3576331 those are the nodes we want to connect to then we have our clear commands the star 15876 or sorry, the star one five eight one seven six and the star one five seven six three three one and then our triggers a volcano warning. Now, since mappings is all the way to the top of all these noted out examples, I'm not a hundred percent sure it's going to work this way, but we're going to learn together. So we want to now don't forget to enable alert script true here. But now we're going to go all the way to the bottom of our config.yaml file to the dev section. And as you can see here, by default, the, t the two triggers inject alerts for injected test alerts was tornado watch and severe thunderstorm warning. Well, I put a pound sign in front of those lines to deactivate them. And then I came up here and I typed in because you got to hit return twice, boom, boom, dash, space, title, colon, space, open quote, volcano warning, close quote. This is going to be our trigger for this example. So I'm going to change false right here under inject to true. This will inject a test alert into our node so that we can see if our alert script will work properly. Once we save this and exit it'll take anywhere from a few seconds to just under a minute for the system to recognize it and it will act on it if nothing happens we know we've got some of our syntax incorrect but if it works we know we got it right so let's let's hit control x yes to save enter to exit and let's see what happens shall we Node five eight one seven six connected to node five seven six three three two updated local information volcano warning node five seven six three three one connected to node five seven six three three two And you can see 
that the nodes connected to my node. In reality, my node connected to 58176 and node 576331 because they are outbound connections. And in a few moments, the alert here on the Supermon 2 page will update to Volcano Warning. And there it is. And now you can see over here on the 58176 that the 576332 is connected inbound, which means I connected to it. Now, if we were on the Supermon 2 page for the 576331, it would show that connection as well. Let's disable the injected alert and make sure everything clears. I'll change this to false. Control X, yes to save, enter to exit, and go back to our Supermon pages. The National Weather Service has cleared all alerts for this area. Node 58176 disconnected. Node 576331 disconnected. And just like that, our nodes disconnect once the alert has cleared. And in a few moments, this volcano warning will clear from our Supermon 2 page. And there they go, clearing right off. And that, folks, is that. Isn't that great? And just like that, we have achieved another module inside of a wonderful program add-on to All Star called Skywarn Plus. Skywarn Plus has a lot of rich, robust features, and I'm going to try to point them all out for you. In another video, I'm going to show you how to do alert script with the bash method so that you can run a script file. Be sure and visit the Skywarn Plus GitHub page. You'll see the link on the screen and it will be down again in the description, but it contains a plethora of information about Skywarn Plus its installation, and its configuration. I'm going to be making a series of videos about each module to try to help you along the way, but because I believe that this program will help you out immensely. Right here is the Skywarn Plus installation and usage area, and you can install it on a Hamvoip system, you can install it on a Debian system, you can install it on an All-Star Link system, you can also uh, install it into GMRS Live. So it has a lot of uses and it's, it's just great. So take a look at Skywarn Plus and give it a chance. I think you will be super excited to have it. Well, there once again, folks, there's another module in Skywarn Plus down and another addition to the All-Star Universe. This is Freddie Mac saying 73s, wishing all the good signals to be yours. Ham on, y'all.